gentlemen, this is the Yonex All England Open Championships men's singles quarter final between, am I right, Taufik Hidea, Indonesia. <laughs> on my left, Li Chong Wei, Malaysia. Taufik Hidea to serve. Love all. Play. So the Olympic champion nearest to us. Li Chong Wei, the world number two, at the far side of the court as we look down. And in badminton terms, Malaysia and Indonesia, fierce rivals. Ninth meeting between these two players. It's the Indonesian with the advantage. But perhaps so, so more significantly, uh, it's the Malaysian who has won the last two encounters, both at the Japan Open Super Series event and the China Masters Super Series event last year. In fact, the last time they met was the final of the Japan Open. Three terrific games. Service so, so, uh, over. 21-19 in the decider. Two, and one. Morton, you were in Japan. You witnessed that final, and what a thriller it was. Do you think we'll have the same sort of situation today, or do you think that Hideyat's match yesterday, going to three games, will have just taken the sting out of him a little bit? Um, not really. I think we're going to see just exactly the same match as what we saw in, in Japan. Uh, obviously, let me say, I'm, I'm hoping. Yes. <laughs> it was such a good game. Um, but I think those two players, um, you know, they... It's, it will always be a good match. Yeah. Always. And, and Taufik is not one of those players that really uses a lot of energy. So even though he played a, a fairly tough match yesterday, I, I don't think it's going to damage his game today. Three, of course, two. Hidayat never came to the All England last year. They stayed away in protest at his national federation. <laughs> but, I mean, this he, he is a big tournament player, isn't he? The Indonesian, I mean, come the Olympic Games in... Athens, he wasn't seeded. He walks away with the gold medal. The Asian Games in Doha in December 2006. Wasn't expected to win, but he beat Lin Dan in the final to take the gold medal there. He's been world champion. This is really the only major, major title he's never won. Twice beaten finalist. Do you think he has that real desire this year to make it happen? Yeah, but he's a joker. He can do anything he wants. I'm not saying that when he puts his mind to it, it he would automatically win. Four, but it three. increases his chances by 75% when he's, when he's playing well, when he's putting his mind to it, he, he can win any tournament. He's that talented. He's that talented. He's pure raw talent. Sometimes, though, I think he's making it very difficult for himself because every opponent walking on the court will say, OK, I always got a chance against Tafit. I always got a chance. Because you never know when he's playing well or not. So, you know, you're not beaten on beforehand and you have a lot of confidence when you go in because you think, OK, I'm in with a chance. Five, four. Beautiful low serve. Landing in. Lee, thank you. Probably short. <laughs> oh, well, that's wonderful. Yeah, you had too much time. Chong Wei gave him too much Six, time. The, the clear was too slow, too high. And then obviously, Tafik had plenty of time to put it away. You talk about his natural talent. But, you know, I, I sit here and I watch him play and I can see the beautiful, easy hitting action. 
You know, he looks so relaxed every time he hits the shovel. But just explain to me the difference between him and Lin Dan, who suddenly has this injection of pace. Because to me, they look totally different. Lin Dan, of course, we saw a couple of matches ago defeating Kenneth Jonasson. Yeah, I, I agree with you, his contrasting style. Uh, but, but when Taufik is playing well, he can really hold his own. And he, he's extremely good in all flats play, like doubles play. Um, everything around the body, he's very good. He plays extremely tight around the net when he's playing well. And obviously, he's got the power and the pace when chances are there to, to play winners. So he, he, can, he can play the shots. No question of that. And it was a good run of five points for the Indonesian. Of course, Morton, you spent some time in, in uh, Malaysia as Six, the national eight. coach, and I believe you were one of the first people to spot the talent of Lee Chong Wei, got him involved in the national squad. Yeah, I, I picked him uh, those years ago, and uh, he's a little boy from Penang, and uh, he was just playing beautiful badminton, and I, I had no choice but picking him. <laughs> he was really good. Seven, he's probably eight. one of the fittest athletes in the sport. He is, he's really fit and he's very, very fast as well. Um, I like to see him use that speed and uh, that explosion to try to play a few more winners. I like to see him score a little bit more because I know he can do it. Yes, I totally agree because, I mean, the number of times I watch Lee Chong Wei seven, seven. and he seems to be too passive Nine, sometimes seven. in his play. He doesn't take enough initiative. And, and it's so it. frustrating because yeah. you're right, he can do it. Yeah. He's got all the power. He's got... Uh, the, he's so quick, uh, explosions, everything. He can do it. See, that's where Taufik is good. Even though it was not such a good defensive Ten, shot, seven. he would be very dangerous on the next one. That one is not played so well, but that one's coming there. And I think Lee Chong Wei knows that if he's not able to put it away properly, then he's going to be in trouble. Yeah. That's a great smash from the Olympic champion. And he has a four point advantage at the mid game interval. Yeah, so much for my theory that he might be a little sluggish after that <laughs> hard three games yesterday. He's blown that apart. Yeah, but the the player from Vietnam, he really played well yesterday. I'm, yeah. I'm very impressed with him. He's a good runner and he can keep yeah. people on court. Nguyen, very yeah. impressive. Came through from the qualifying. And coach. Fantastic play. See, what, what's, if, if you don't really play at a very high level, what seven. you don't understand is that the fact that Taufik can play backhands like that, it's saving him so much energy that he doesn't have to run around it every single time. When he decides to run around it and plays around the head, then he can apply a lot of pressure. But this time he can still just play good backhands, solid, no problem, and still apply pressure with it. Yeah, there's another one. Not a lot of players can do that. Yeah. Seven, seven, eight, 12. 
Doesn't cost him any, anything to do that. No, no energy. Service over. 13 8. I'm still surprised we haven't seen Chong Wei's uh, cross-court smash from the forehand side across because he's playing it so well. He's one so of the best so smash in the game. 9-13. Oh, yeah. Good defence from Lee Chong Wei. 10, 13. A crouch defence. This is very typical for the Indonesian, isn't it? 13. A few rallies of absolute brilliance. brilliance. <laughs> And then a few rallies were really fairly ordinary. Yeah, well, uh, again, I think it was um, it was because of uh, Chong Wei's uh, change of serve that he actually flicked it and not just playing the, the normal short serve. Out, so. Twelve, thirteen, four straight points for the Malaysian, and he's right back in this opening game. Not happy with that, is he? Now the Malaysian back level. 13 all. Service over. A shot like 14, that from Taufik is 13. just uh, proving and showing the talent. He, he plays with such a disguise and Whatever he's doing, you, you can never guess. You have to wait and then go, wait and go, because you never know where it's coming. And that makes it really difficult to play him. Fifteen, First 13. to the backhand, then to the forehand, switching the pressure. Mm -hmm. It's a good return. Service over. 14-15. Oh, wonderful. That's the time Service when over. on 16, his feet 14. behind the shot, instead of turning to play the high backhand, this was the occasion you were talking about yeah. where he really gets behind it and then he has all those options. But that cost him energy to do that. Yep. So if he should do that for a whole match, he would not be able to sustain. But uh, that's where the backhand comes in and really saves him. Wipe the call, please. 17, 14. Yeah, sorry. Slip with that right leg at the back of the court. And immediately looked round. Perspiration on the court surface, just making it a little bit slippery. Both these players with knees already strapped. Not any more injuries. Really good rally, this one. And back to square one. <laughs> oh, um, 
unbelievable. Sensational rally. A phenomenal smash to end it. Terrific. But that has taken its physical toll, and that Lee Chong Wai won't be upset about that, will he? No, I think that's that's playing into uh, into the hand of Lee Chong Wai. But um, it all depends if if Taufik is fit and he can sustain it. Obviously, he's playing fantastic today. He's got a very good chance of winning. That's an interesting statistic there that both of them enjoy more success hitting towards the forehand side. Hmm. But it's it's very unusual if if we've seen the match before. Uh, on the court next to uh, the middle court here with uh, Bao Chun Lai playing against uh, one of the Danish players. You would notice that Bao Chun Lai is probably the player in the top ten. He's got the def best defence so on his so forehand. Yeah. Normally 15, everyone is having the 18. best defence on the backhand side and that's why you see a lot of winners are going into the forehand. It, uh, best defence on the backhand side because technically it, it, it's an easier shot to play. It's or an easier. It's yeah. easier also to get into position to, to, to play it. Absolutely. 16, 18. So maybe the long rally wasn't uh, bad at all. Yeah. 17, maybe it's paying 18. dividends now. And knowing Taufik, he's waiting for his moment to attack again. Yeah. Oh, it was a Sounds wonderful over. return of serve, 19, tight spinning net shot. 17. Again, it doesn't cost him any energy at all, just playing it so beautifully. Look at that, look at that. Spinning all the way. So now you can see he's going for it. I see he's ready. Yep. And now three game points to the Olympic champion. Game point seventeen. Determination in that rally from Lee Chong Wei. 18, 20. Still, we haven't seen the cross court smash from that. Here, yeah, that's where I would expect the cross court smash. He's playing it so well. He's one of the best smashes in the game. And he hasn't done it yet. Goodness gracious. We're back to Japan. <laughs> 19, 20. Two game points have come and gone. Only one more remains. It's Landed in. in. It's in. Yeah. Back level. That was really good play of Chong Wei. When uh, Taufik was driving it at, it at his buddy, he whipped it back again. So he did not have a chance to go in, and that's the shot. That's really well played, because Taufik, he was going in and wanted to make the kill. Yes, I think just hoping that that was going to go out. Mm. So extra points required until there's a two clear point winning margin. Excellent shot Sounds down the line, really very well disguised. Look at that, how he's, he's coming in now, look at that. Look at... Yeah, it looked as if he was going to play that cross court yes. and then just sort of swiping across the, f the yeah, it's feathers. Like a window wiper, you know, it's coming yeah. like that. So now, 
a fourth opportunity for Taufik Hidayat to close out this opening game. How many errors on net shots in these latter stages? Yeah, but look at how close it is. Yeah, he isn't good enough though. No, but he's playing his chance. Yeah. Wrong that's, choice of shot. Yep, that's what, why the other shot was so good when he went down the line. And the other one now, he went cross court and that's what you see what happens when you go cross court. Mm -hmm. So having saved four game points, now Lee Chong Wei has a good point flick, himself. Good flick serve. That was the one I was waiting for. See, that's what Taufik is good at. Oh, my word. And he's done it. What a fight back by the Malaysian. Great courage at the end. First game won by Lee Chong Wei. And the Olympic champion might well regret those four opportunities. What an opening game. 21-23, the margin and the Malaysian fan.